Good morning. Welcome to Blessed of Christian Fellowship. Another uh, Sunday, a great Sunday. Uh, maka sinati ta sa uh, presence ni Lord. And uh, of course, no, receive guidance and impartation, uh, encouragement, hope. Pinaagi sa words sa ginoo. Uh, as we start this morning, let us pray. Lord, uh, this morning we thank you for your love, your grace, your favor upon us. As we face storms, adversities in our lives, God, we... Consider them as advantages. Uh, salamat, Ginoo, that you are working in us. You are growing our dependence, our dedication, dia kanimo, and you are using us to display your glory sa among matagusag kinabuhi. This morning, we dedicate this time to you. We bless your name. We praise you. We worship you, God. Holy Spirit, thank you that you will minister to us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Mayong buntag, no? Once again, last week, nagisgota about advantages in adversities. Nagisgota nga ang, ang kini mga adversities, no? One of the, uh, mga, one of the things nga uh, maka, maka, no? Ma, ma-develop sa atuwa is ang atong dependence. Ikaduha is ang, ang dedication na to and display of, of, of God's power sa atong matagos sa kakinabuhi. This morning, let me, let me talk about responding to adversities. Eh, last week, naghisgota about uh, advantages. So, nasabta na to, doon mga advantages in adversities. Karon nga buntag, maghisgota. How, how do we respond to adversities? No? Because we, we understand that uh, as, as, you, uh, no? as we live in this unperfect uh, world, as we live in this, um, this earth, no? aning nga kalibutan, samtang magpadayon ta, pag kinabuhi, pag puyo, no? aning nga kalibutan, we will... Always go through moments that na mo uh, atubang tag adversities. We will go through storms, and God sometimes allow us to go through that. Isgutan na nato ni agi nga simana, but how do we respond? Mo na tong isgutan garon responding to adversities, no? And uh, na mga moments we're in worried ta, confused ta, we are doubting, and 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 times where no. We say, I, I did everything, I did my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. No, naningkamot ko, naningtiil ko, ang akong paningkamot, giapilan pa na akong paningtiil. No, para lang yun, no, makasinati ko sa unsay mga maayong butang. And yet, nga nung kulang mang yun gihapon, no, nag, no nag, nag-exercise man ko generosity, I am faithful with my tithes and offering. No, lisod man lagi gihapon, nag-sell group man ko. No, uh, murag wala lagi gihapon ko'y growth na ninuod ko sa Ginoo mo ni mo na daghan kay ta usahay <clears throat> mga ginago through and mga questions sa atong um matag sa kahuna-huna and uh no, we, we we go through situations like that and uh ginaallow na si Ginoo of course no atong dependence mas mapalaom atong dedication mas mapaligon og ang, ang pagdisplay nato sa gahom sa Ginoo no mahimong magamit ang atong kinabuhi No kay usa na gyud mga panahon nga makaingon ta gilisod-lisod siguro ko eh murag anong naglisod man ko anong gilisod-lisod man ko anong moagi man ko ani para bitaw ni ni ko ano ang maestra nagtawag kang kang Juan ingon sa Juan 5 plus 2 ingon si Juan ma'am 7 ingon ang maestra ikaw Pedro 2 plus 5 ingon si Pedro mo na problema ni mo ma'am unfair kay ka paglisod na gani ako na din yung tawagon. No? Unfair kay ka. No? Um, there will be moments when we, we see life's unfairness. No? Unfair kayo ang life. And moments where we, we will be tempted to quit. But what should be our response in the face of adversities? Unsa may dapat na to, no? Attitude and response in, in the face of adversities. There is a story of these two men in, the, in, in Acts. No, who went through a great adversity not because they did what no not because they did wrong but because they did what was right and they suffered for it of course we we talk about the in the old testament about Joseph who did what was right and and, and still no nakasinati but these these people did not just go through nang simple lang they they went through pain really and they faced the adversity they responded to their adversity In such a way nga na-display tinood ang gahom sa gino. No? So let's read that story in Acts chapter 16. Sugod to sa verse 16. Acts chapter 16. Sugod sa verse 16 to uh, 
No, let me just read that. No, just follow, follow along sa inyong screen, or you can read with your Bible. No, uh, I'm reading the New Living Translation. In one day, as we were going down to the place of prayer, we met a slave girl who had a spirit that enabled her to tell the future. She earned a lot of money uh, for her masters by telling fortunes. She followed Paul and the rest of us, shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God, and they have come to tell you how to be saved. Ang demon niyo panoon, ang kinipanong demon possess, no girl, mo pa yung nag-introduce kang Paul. No? But, ah, in verse 18, this went on day after day until Paul got so exasperated that he turned and said to the demon with her, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And instantly it left her. Ano, ano, sakto mo yung istorya sa demon. No, ano, girebuke man siya ni Paul. Ano man, uh, Paul doesn't want to be mis- no? Uh, Paul doesn't want to be misrepresented. Nga mas, mi- no, morag, Ah, kauban na rin na sila, demonyo dahi, ah, kauban na sila, go, no? so, girebuke ni Paul, he become exas- exasperated. And verse 19, her master's hopes of wealth were now shattered. Nga naman, wala naman ang demon that, that talks about fortunes. no? So they grabbed Paul and Silas and dragged them before the authorities at the marketplace. The whole city is in, up, uh, in an uproar because of the, these Jews, they shouted to the, the city officials. They are teaching customs that are illegal for us Romans to practice. A mob quickly formed against Paul and Silas, and the city officials ordered them stripped, no, stripped sila, and beaten with wooden rods. No, wooden rods. They were severely beaten, and then they were thrown into prison. The jailer was ordered to make sure they didn't escape. So on say response, the jailer, the jailer put them in the inner dungeon and clamped their feet in the stocks. No, so muna yung sitwasyon. They were beaten, severely beaten. They were actually wounded. And uh, they were they were pu- uh, placed into an inner dungeon and um, clamped their, their, their feet. No, so kanang uh, duha ka tabla nga gi, gi, no, gi akob, nga gi bangagan lang, kanang sakto sa, sa uncle. No? <laughs> o ba ni auntie? Ito? <laughs> <laughs> no so gi gi usa no so dili sila ka move di na para sa tong pusas karon nga pwede ra makuha ng tiil no kana dili gyud no gi clamp siya so around midnight ingon diri sa verse 25 Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and the other prisoners were listening suddenly there was a massive earthquake and the prison was shaken to its foundations all the doors immediately flew open and the chains of every prisoner fell off the jailer woke up to see the prison doors wide open. He assumed the prisoners had escaped. So he drew his sword to him himself. But Paul shouted to him, Stop! Paul. No. <laughs> Stop! Don't kill yourself. We are all here. The jailer called for lights and ran to the dungeon and fell down, trembling before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and asked, Sirs, what must I do? To be saved. No, taas taas pa ng story. But may the Lord bl- bless the reading of His word. Here we see how Paul and Silas responded to an adversity. They were just preaching the gospel. They were just doing what is right. They were doing what God called them to do. And yet, they experienced this adversity. Yun sa man sila, gibunalan sila, severely beaten, that they were bleeding. How do we know they were bleeding? Because the following verses at ang ibasa, Kung mapadayuno ni mo ang story, uh, no, they, their wounds were treated by the jailer. So meaning, they were in, in, in prison, in the inner dungeon, clamp ang feet, no? they, were, they were in chains and, and, and bleeding. So imagine their situation. So, but they responded in, in, in such a way that displayed the, the power of God sa ilang matagos na kakinabuhi. Nasabtan man na to, nga, Usa sa advantage sa, sa adversity is we, we display the, the power of God. Right? So, aning response na pakita nila, no? ang, ang, pag, ang gahom sa ginoo sa ilang uh, kinabuhi. So, responding to adversities. How do we respond? So, we know the story no, na ay demon-possessed girl that is 
telling about the future, magpredict sa future, no? And uh makagipangwartahan sa maayo siyang amo, mga amo, no? And then sige man po siyang sunod-sunod ni Paul. No, and sige po ingon this came, you no, know, these people came for, to teach you how to be saved. No, and and Paul knew that that was a demon inside her, so Paul rebuked her, the demon. And karon tungod kay wala nang demon, patay negosyo. No, ang negosyo siyang amo wala na, so as kang sukuha. So they they accused Paul and Silas wrongly. They they threw false accusations. Saying nga na no, na yung mga panahon that we are doing what is right, we're doing what is no, what should be done, and yet no, we kita pa ida utan. No, na yung mga nga na ang mga panahon. But uh, how do we respond to that? How we res- how do we respond? Not only in in situations like that, but in adversities in general. Ingon e there is a verse 22 to 23. A mob quickly formed against Paul and Silas, and the city officials ordered that ordered them strip. And beaten with wooden rods. And on the verse twenty-three, they were severely beaten, and then they were thrown into prison. The jailer or the jailer was ordered to make sure they didn't escape. So here we we can see, no, that wala gani musukol si Paul o si Silas in this story. No, Paul responded to their adversity by embracing the grind. So number one, in order to respond to adversities, number one, embrace the grind. No, in sports, sometimes you'll hear this phrase, embrace the grind. This refers to the enjoyment one gets from intense training and physical exertion. No, so the ang 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 enjoyment ni mo sa sa training. Ang enjoyment ni mo sa 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 unsa ni sa pain sa physical exertion is uh, not caused by the training itself kapoy be na no but it comes from the athlete knowing what the end result will be so the 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 thought of embracing the grind is that no kung i-compare ni mo sa athletics When you say you embrace the grind, you train yourself. No, you train your body. You you exert effort. You you embrace pain. And no, you enjoy doing that not because no you love to be in pain, but because you know the end result. You are looking forward to the end result that you will be stronger and more more finely tuned competitor. The training and physical distress that an athlete subjects himself to, no, is comparable to our lives in Christ and the adversities we face. No, so embrace the grind, meaning go through it. Ayaw li kayi. Excuse me, po. No, go through it. Embrace it. No, ayaw kahadlok o adversity. So unsay po tipa sa botana? What does it mean? No, it means to persevere in whatever challenges and adversities you face. It means to stand your ground in whatever pr- pressure you are placed upon, no, and to bounce back and get better in failure because you know that God is working on your behalf. Si Paul and si Silas they embrace the grind because they knew some God is still working even in the midst of pain. They embrace the grind. They they took upon them the the beating. They were severely beaten. They allowed themselves to be imprisoned. They embraced the grind because they knew God is doing something. They were confident in the sovereignty of God that God would not allow them to go through circumstances, to go through a difficult situation without a result, without a purpose. So so on. Whatever you're going through in life. Whatever adversity that you're facing right now, embrace the grind. Like Paul and Silas, embrace the grind. It's about doing what is right and choosing to do what is right despite the possible no negative consequence you might go through. Paul and Silas just went through all the beatings, but they never questioned the will of the Lord in this moment. Wala diha ma-record nga nag-question sila, Lord, nga nung i-allow mo ni Nimo? 
Lord nga nung ipaagi nga Lord nga nung ialaw man nimo nga mabunalan mi magkasamad-samad mi mapriso mi Lord nga nung ialaw man nimo nga naman they were confident that in the midst of adversity God is still doing something and <laughs> indeed makita nato sa unahan it's so limited ang atong uh, vision on what is ahead but let us be confident in our God let us be confident in the sovereignty of our God and let us respond to our adversities by embracing the grind. Amen? They understood that their character is being sharpened by God. If you are beaten by adversity, no, embrace the grind. No, God is molding your character. Bear the pain and the trial without complaining. That's what embracing the grind no, is all about. Ingon sa Job chapter 23 verse 10. Job chapter 23 verse 10. But he knows the way that I take. Ingon si Job. When he has tested me, I will come forth as gold. Akong balikon, ingon siya. But he knows the way I take. Referring to God. He knows the way I take. take. When, he, when he has tested me, I will come forth as gold. Wow. That's Job 23 verse 10. Embrace the grind because something precious is developed inside of us when we go through adversities. Don't turn away from them. Embrace the grind. You will come forth as gold in every adversity you go through. Amen? God is refining you. You will come forth as gold. Amen? Embrace the grind. Verse 25. Here's the thing, magkita na to. Here's the amazing thing, and, and, and an amazing response. Noong ilang gibuhat, verse 25, around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening. In the midst of adversity, in the midst of the trial, in the midst of the pain, Paul and Silas cho- chose to sing praises to God. They chose to pray and praise God. In the midst of the pain, they were bleeding. They were still bleeding. And yet, aliwala ng tanan, they, they praised God. Sabi, grabe o confidence sa gino. No, and I believe the same thing, uh, nga, gitinguha sa gino, nga atong response in the midst of adversity. Number two, express prayer and praises to God. Number one, embrace the grind. Number two, embrace, uh, express prayer and praises to God. The very secret in facing adversity is spending time with God. Spending time with the Lord. Yang uban maka-encounter og problema, mo palayo man sa ginoo, mo distansya. But that's the wrong response. Dapat in the midst of adversity, mas muduol to sa ginoo, we express our prayer and our praise to God. No? Mo na yung pinakamaayong buhaton dapat, mo na yung pinakamaayong response, but honestly, sa tinuod lang. No? That, is not the, 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 that is not the easiest thing to do. That is not easy. We don't want to spend time, pray, or even sing praises to God when we are facing adversity. Pag na ay problema, Lisod magpasalamat. Lisod usahay mo dool sa Ginoo. No, pag naay problema, no, lisod i basag Bible. Lisod i ampo. But this is the very thing that we should do. Because as we express our praise, as we no, declare who God is in our lives rather than our present conditions, no? Ang, 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 ang situations, ang atmosphere sa atong kinabuhi, the spiritual atmosphere is changing. Makita na nato sa kinabuhi ni, no, sa response ni Paul o ni Silas, they were seeking, seeking, they were singing hymns and they were praying at midnight while bleeding and being chained, being clamped sa ilang tiil. They were in the inner dungeons, by the way, kining cell nila, kining silda nila, No in the past dili ni pareha sa atong huna sa silda karon nga no nakasilda lang naka kuan dungeons ni we're talking about underground meaning ngit-ngit no ngit-ngit 
And yet, taliwala ng tanan. Hindi nila makita. On say na, they were clamped. No? But taliwala ng tanan. They were singing praise. And they were praying to God. So may na as a praise. No? In our praise, God comes and in, in His presence, mag, magdaig ta, yung Bible, enter His presence with thanksgiving. No? Enter His gates with thanksgiving and with praise. And into His courts with praise. So ang praise is one of the ways that we can enter into the presence of God. We can enter into His courts. No? Declaring our praises and, and praying is is actually you no know, coming into the presence of God and where the the presence of God is there is peace there is joy <coughs> excuse me po there is contentment amen amen no so praise is an act of faith it is also a dec- no it's a declaration of faith that God reigns despite our adversities despite our challenges It's a celebration of victory even before the victory has has has, has, has happened. No, nag-celebrate na ka sa victory, nagpasalamat na ka sa Ginoo sa victory nga giluwas kaniya sa adversity, nga gaagi pa kag adversity. Sayon ba na? No, I'm not telling you it's easy. I'm not telling you nga sayon. But it's the right thing to do. It's the right response in the midst, in in the face of adversity. So I don't know what you're going right, you're going through right now. I don't know the problems that you're facing right now. I don't know kung sa emotional nga mga problema ng imong gato bang, no? Or, or or probably you're going through depression. You're going through no a lot of you're you're going you you are having this these doubts, these fears, imong kasing kasing uguna huna, no? And then you are facing this this adversity nga tanaw nimo murag wala na gi pagkapaingnan. Igsuon start expressing your prayer and praises to God at this moment. Come into God's presence, enter into his courts with thanksgiving. Amen and where does the spirit of the Lord is there is freedom. Whenever there is the presence of God there is peace. Amen. Because something happens in the spiritual realm when we declare God's praise. When we are facing an adversity, most of the time it's hard to pray, let alone praise. No, it's difficult to pray when we are going through adversity. No, labaw nagdai. But you know what? No, in 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 the face of of adversity, when we are praising God, you are claiming His victory. You are claiming conquest. You are claiming victory. You're declaring, no? When we praise God, when we pray, when we come to God's presence, and when we pray in the in the face of adversity, no, we are declaring that God is stronger, that God is greater and bigger than our situations, greater and more powerful than any circumstance, greater and bigger than our adversities. Amen. Hello. That is what what praise can do and prayer can do sa atong matagos sa kakinabuhi as we face adversity. Amen. No. Uh we 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 there are a lot of reasons to praise God. No. Daghang rason nga pwede tang mo give up, daghang rason nga pwedeng Pwede tang ma-discourage, pero kung i-evaluate na ito itong matagos sa kakinabuhi, there are still a lot of reasons to give thanks to God. Una, buhi ka. No? Bisan pag unsa kadaghan ni mong problema. Bisag unsa pa kadaghan ni mong iatobang karon, Bisag unsa pa kadaghan ni mong bayro no? Kung mga pagpanginahanglan karon, There are still a lot of people right now that are willing to trade places with you. There are still a lot of people in the hospital right now that are willing to trade places with you. You are still blessed. And God still deserve our praise and our worship and our prayer. Let us express our prayer and our praises to God in the midst of adversity. Amen? So, the key is, declare God's, God's no? The key, the key is to declare God's power in our weakness. 
to declare His grace in no, our limitations, His sovereignty in our questions, and His love in our doubts. Let us choose to declare, again, no, let us choose to declare God's power in our weakness, His abundant grace in our limitations, no, His sovereignty in our questions, and His love in our doubts. Praise Him, even in the storms of your life. Pray, even if it doesn't make sense. Nga naman, our usual response in adversities is to complain or to get discouraged. But let us always look for reasons to give God the praise. When we think about all the good things God has done for us, we will discover that blessings outweigh adversities. Ang kong balikon, sa diyang evaluate na ito itong life, mas daghan gya ang panalangin sa ginoo. Mas daghan gya po maayong mga butang ang gibuhat ang ginoo sa atong matag sa kaginabuhi, sa imong ginabuhi, kaysa mga uh, kalisdanan o adversity imong yatubang. Amen? No, so we, we, we tend to worry in the midst of adversities, in the face of adversity, we tend to complain and get discouraged. No? But when we uh, choose no, to express our prayer and our face, something happens in the spiritual realm, no, in the spiritual atmosphere sa atong kinabuhi. So, usually, mag-complain ta, mag-doubt ta, mabalaka ta, and ma-discourage ta. When we fail to intentionally praise God, even in our battles, even in the face of our adver- adversities. Amen? So, pila ra my story, no? verse 26, it said there, suddenly, suddenly, kana mo yung mga nindot ng mga moment no igsuon just no as we as we no embrace the grind and as we express our prayer and our praises to God let us wait for that moment ng mga no kanang kanang suddenly no na go through ko ginani but suddenly God intervened no no hindi ako crush ng crush ko but suddenly oh No. The thing is, no. Ingondri suddenly there was a massive earthquake and the prison was shaken to its foundations and the doors immediately flew open and the chains of every prisoner fell off. In, in responding to adversities, number one, embrace the grind. Number two, express your prayer and praises to God. Number three, expect God to act. Expect God to act. Expect God to do something. Naman, lisod man idaig kung wakay expectation. But you, when you, you claim and believe that God is doing something, that in the midst of all the adversities, God, you are still, no, God is still blessing you, that your blessing, no, still outweighs your adversities so they may realize that nimo you can expect god and you, you you are expecting god to act mas mas excited ka mo daig sa ginoo amen in moments of testings and adversity no actually in in those moments we are giving god the platform to do a miracle your adversity is god's platform for a miracle It's a my way problema. You and me, we go through adversity. We face adversities from time to time. Ang atong response, may magmatter exon, whether it be glorifying to God, whether it be a testimony or not. Hello. Amen. Expect God to act. Let us expect God to do something. Let us expect God that He is doing something. Amen. Aning nga panahon, they were singing, no? Kabalungan mo sa kantang nga gikompose ani nila, no? Na-share ko naman in the past. No? How great is our God? <laughs> they were singing, no? So si, 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 si Paul kanta siya, How great is our God? Ingon siya kang Sila, sing with me. How great is our God? No? Iya pong gingnan mga piniriso uban. And all will sing... <laughs> How great. <laughs> no, historia rin na ha, wala na sa Bible. But they were, as they were praising, suddenly, 
as they were praying, suddenly, there was a massive earthquake. And all the prison doors were open. And all the prisoner's chains fell off. Let me tell you this. Even the deepest wounds, the strongest chains, chains, the strongest bondage, and the darkest prison can never hinder God to do a miracle. Whatever bondages that you are, uh, that is holding you right now, whatever no, uh, adversities that you are facing right now, no, whatever wounds that you are having in your emotions right now, whatever no things of uh, no or 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 wounds of betrayal ngay mong gina gina huptan karon or whatever no even the deepest depression cannot hinder God to do a miracle if you expect God to act. If you are expecting God to do something, if you are expressing your prayer and your praise to the Lord, no chain or bondage is strong enough the moment God shakes your life. So, so you should allow God to shake you. Naay mga panahon nga i-shake ta sa Ginoo. No prison, no limitation is strong enough the moment God shakes your life. No amount of pain can conquer <coughs> can conquer your life. The moment God shakes your life, allow God to shake your life. Amen. Excited ko gyo buko. Naminos na rabang ubo ni Mike Enriquez ron. Di na kasi mag excuse me po. Pick up niya siya gon. Nakapipi. Anyway, you just have to believe. You just have to expect God to do something. No wounds deep enough can hinder God to do something. No needs great enough. Nga dili ni mo masulbad. Walay limitation. Walay 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 problema. Nga dili ni mo makanker the moment God shakes your life. When God shakes the prison cells, chains broken. No, prison doors flew open. Inana mo buhat ng milagro ang ginoo, ingon ana ang home to ginoo. Ingzoon, siguro dako kay kagbayron on run. Expect God to act, but in expectation for God to do something, it doesn't mean we do nothing. No, si Paul, they did something. Paul and Silas did something. That even the the prison doors flew open. Wala po sila managan. Wala po sila mang sibat. They knew God is is God has someone for them to witness to, and that is the the jailer. And you know the 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 the, the proceeding verses. Makita nato how the family of the jailer was were were saved. How the 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 family of the jailer, no, were. Able to experience sal salvation, yeah, sa gino, salvation through the gospel, because of what had happened. No, kaya kung nisibat pa silang Paul, na dayon to kamatay ang jailer. Wala kaya po yun hitabo. No, so in expecting God to act, dapat sensitive po ta sa working sa gino. Amen. Say to yourself, believe. No, kung naakay tapad ing na believe. Tuuhing ang gino mas dako kaysa imong problema. No, sa gingon pa na ako in the past, kung naa ka sa ginoo, mura kag itik. No, kung naa ka sa ginoo, ug uban nimo ang ginoo, mura kag itik. <laughs> Abi na kog agila, pastor, no. <laughs> no, mura pug kag itik, no dili lang ka agila, mura pug kag itik. Na bisan pag unsa ka laom sa baha, bisan pag unsa ka laom sa tubig, taga liog ra gyud na kung itik ka. <laughs> so, misan pag unsa ka laom sa imong wounds, unsa ka laom sa imong problema, unsa ka dako sa imong ginatubang adversity right now, I'm telling you, it will never drown you. Embrace the grind. Expe express your prayer and your praises to God. And expect God to act on your behalf. Expect God to do a miracle sa imong ginabuhi. Right now, I just want to minister to you. 
Just wanna tell you, na in in even in the midst of adversity, God is doing something. God can use your life to be a platform for His glory and His power to be displayed sa imong ginabuhi. So don't quit. Don't give up. Keep seeking God. Keep praising Him. No, keep praying sa ginoo sa imong ka. Ano sa mga tubag ani? No. Paul went through. Paul and Silas went through pain. They were bleeding. They had wounds. They were in prison. They were no. Their, their hands and their feet were chained. And yet, walay walay bandage, walay presuhan nga pwedeng mo gapos sa kasing-kasing nga nakasabot o nakasinati sa pagkamaayo sa ginoo. No? Sa kasing ang kasing-kasing gani nga naka, nakaila sa ginoo, nakasabot nga og nag-expect nagtuo nga ang ginoo mamuhat og dagkong butang makadeklarar gyud sa pagdaig sa ginoo. So this morning, can you just evaluate your life? Well, challenge ta ka karon. No, think about it. Daghan to ug problema, daghan kag yatubang. Pero labaw sa tanan, uhi pa ka. Labaw sa tanan, i-sustain ka sa Ginoo. And God has brought you to this, no? To this point. No, he did a lot of things sa imo in the past and he will do it again even more. Just expect God to act in your life. So take, let us just take a moment to give thanks to the Lord and express our, a prayer of thanksgiving and praise nga to sa Ginoo. No? I know that you are no ayaw li kay na ayaw dagani na imong problema embrace the grind embrace the grind. No you will grow in that. No something precious you will come out as gold. Ingon pa sa Job ingon pa ang pulong sa Ginoo you will come out as gold gold as you Embrace the grind. Come on, let us just express our thanksgiving to you. God, thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, thank you that you will minister to your people right now. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, just open your mouth and declare your praises to you. Thank you, Lord, sa kinabuhi. Thank you sa trabaho. Thank you sa negosyo. Lord, bisan nawadan ko trabaho. You have preserved me you have provided for my needs you have provided for my family lord even if i was betrayed god you have sustained me you have strengthened me come on come on whatever it is lord thank you for my family thank you god thank you lord lord karon nga kabuntagon we choose to give you praise we surrender our lives dia kanimo we surrender our adversities our situations dia kanimo Lord, we are expect- expecting you to act on our behalf. We are expecting you to do a miracle sa imong katawahan, Ginoo. Lord, salamat kaayo. As we express our prayer and our praises to you, God, you are doing something in the spiritual atmosphere of our lives. Lord, salamat kaayo as we embrace the grind. You are strengthening us and we are confident of the outcome aning adversity ng among ginatubang Ginoo. We are excited that we will come out as gold and we are not gonna uh, uh, dili na mo ni we are not gonna run away from this oh God but we will embrace this because we know that you are preparing us for greater things. Dalaygon ka Ginoo sa walay katapusan. Bless your people God. Strengthen your people Lord. Enable us by your grace to respond to adversities your way, the right way, the biblical way. We give you praise and the glory and the honor. Ya lamang kanimo Ginoo even for the rest of the day, the rest of the week. Lord, salamat kaayo nga magauban ka, magahatag kag paglaom og kusog sa imong katawhan. Sa ngalan ni Hesus. Amen. Amen. Maayong udto ninyong tanan and uh, Padayon ta sa Ginoo. Keep connecting sa sales, no? We have cell groups uh, online, no? Keep connecting. We are still doing morning prayers every every uh, 5:30 a.m. through Zoom. And uh, if this is your first time, no, let us know. The first time ni mo magtanaw karon, let us know. No, message us through this page and follow us on Twitter and on Instagram. We we please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, also na po ko ibagong 
YouTube channel bago pag yung kayo. No, gamay pa kayo kuan. That is not for for commercial or on sa that is for no, of course review sa mga sermons. And it's it's the year is no, the year is almost no. Paana the, the the near end sa year, but it is still the beginning of a decade, a beginning of the greater things. Nga buhaton sa Ginoo. 2020 is still the year of completion. A year where God has taught us to build up our foundations and to trust in Him. God bless you all. Mayong udto ninyong tanan. Have a great day.